we're coming to you today from our new facility in DIC, which is uh, pretty close to the Expo 2020 site and the Maktoum Airport here in Dubai. We've just got ownership of this particular piece, 600,000 square feet, which we started to develop in 2016, and we officially moved in here January of this year. It's purpose-built. When we were in the design phase, we tried to plan for current growth and also build in some growth potential into the facility. The office building is quite modern. It's all open plan, two levels. Most of the operational divisions work from the lower level and upstairs we've basically got HR, QHSE and accounting and finance. In total, we probably have close on 150 people actively involved every day on the site between office staff, service personnel. The facility itself is about 350,000 square feet of interlocked open storage space, uh, about 175,000 in covered warehousing and service space, and the remaining portion being in the office. It's very functional. The outside areas, um, we've got tremendous access, tremendous storage facilities, and also we're now equidistant, we believe, between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So we've closed our overflow facility in Abu Dhabi. All our stock is now centralized here in the new DIC facility. Within uh, Al Lait, we have six operating divisions, four of which are geared towards access solutions and access rental into the construction market. And then we've got our events and site services business, which is condensed into a seven month period, um, roughly from October to May. As we come into the facility here in DIC, right inside, um, we've got basically most of our site services, uh, equipment stored, modular buildings, modular office buildings, toilet blocks. Behind that, in a warehouse facility, we've got our, what we call our VIP toilets, or our flexi-loops, which are increasing in popularity here in the UE, mainly geared towards the high-end uh, VIP um, corporate hospitality sector. In the first quarter this year, we looked at what opportunities potentially would come from Expo, what the requirement in the market would be. And whereas we felt that Adelaide were quite strong from an overlay point of view, when it came to pavilions and modular demountable clear span steel frame structures, I could think of no one better than ES Group from London. And we have a history with ES going back to a very successful delivery of London 2012 Olympics and um, it felt like a natural fit. Ali and Jeff um, are guys that I know quite well. I respect what they've achieved. This joint venture now here basically allows us to target Expo and potentially give a turnkey solution to potential pavilion requirements for Expo 2020.